Hey guys, Shady, Nike Faller, and a couple other video makers like uh, NBA 2K Impossible have requested me to create a green screen court for NBA 2K13. Um, what this will let you do is have, just have a green screen for the players in the game. Then you can use video editing techniques or um, Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you want to do to change the backgrounds of the players to wherever you would like them to play. Um, <laughs> the, the possibilities of this are pretty endless, but you know, it's up to you guys what you want to do. I'd rather just stick with creating the scenes in the game, if you will. So anyway, I'll show you how to do this. When you download this uh, file, you'll see s green screen right here dot if. This is the stadium file. You do not need to worry about the floor file at all. Um, this stadium will overwrite and take care of everything you need to take care of. To get this to show up in game, you can either go into Redditor and purchase the arenas tab and change one of the arena name um, modeled 3D names to. Um, S green screen and that will work and you know the roster will load this up instead to be honest this is one of the cases where overwriting original file would be a lot easier since this is just temporary but you gotta make sure you back up first so let's say we want to have this overwrite the Celtics court as we know the uh, stadium files start with S and then have numbers behind them now we don't know which numbers so you can either go on my computer and download this or you can go to the NLSC forums tutorials forum file structure thread and it has all these IDs laid out. I'll put a link in the description for you guys. So the Celtics are 005. So we go to S005. Hey, this is the Celtics court. We can go ahead and press copy paste and it will create a copy for me as you can see there. Then we can take this file and rename it to S005 to replace what the Celtics court was at first. Move it over to the game. We'll replace the... Uh, we, uh, we already made a, a copy of it so it's not overwriting the original. <laughs> Then we can load up the game, which as you can see, I already have loaded up and tested. Whoops. Um, let's load up the default current um, post-draft, whatever you want to call it, roster. And let's load up some Celtics versus Thunder. Sure, why not? And what this will do is instead of loading the normal Celtics court, it will load, ta-da, do it, green screen. So you can record this and have these guys playing on, uh, you know, showing off on a different court or whatnot, um, city background, whatever you'd like it to be. Now, as you may have noticed, I have the uh, portable backboards um, imported into this. That is not how it will come to you guys. It will come to you guys with the glass of the backboard, the net, and the reflection of the rim. There is nothing I can do to get rid of that. But I'll show you guys in a second here how you can, um, well, I guess fix that. Let's just cross them up with Rondo and take a shot and get blocked. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> so let me show you how to import the custom backboards. I'll put this link in the description below for my, uh, uh, what do you call it, D backboard download. So you want to go to the NBA 2KX mod tool. Press open up. Open again navigate to where you have the file you want to edit so we want to edit the, the Celtics court s 5if there we go and go down to I think it's 21 no 22 and then go through and just select any of the models down here select one import res and now you need to navigate to where you saved my backboard files here they all are for me I will load up the one, since you already saw the portable one, I'll sh load up the one that it will come with none. <laughs> and so just so you guys can see what that looks like. And then import res again, and you want to import the flipped version. And you want to make sure you only do XYZ only. Okay, okay. Automatically save, so you can close out of that. That's all there is with that. Go back in game. Let's load up practice mode, freestyle, with the Celtics. And now we have quote unquote no backboard. <laughs> now, as you saw, you know the re the refs and the coaches can still bleed through the screen. Um, I did my best with this. I also tried to make it as light as I could. I mean, this is the original texture up here, and I wasn't able to directly use that because of the shading that's in the game. But this should do the job specifically for whatever you guys need it to do um, for video editing and stuff. So you can just go up here and just dribble around with Rondo and all that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you hide the panel, turn off depth of field. I mean, you guys could take this and turn it into whatever background you want. No shadows to deal with. None of that BS. 
just pure on Rondo dribbling on a green screen that you guys can edit to your heart's content. <laughs> and you may have noticed that is the overall shape of it. Um, I've edited out the crowd. I've edited out the stadium. Um, I've made it so you can't see the benches and did my best to get rid of all of the additional characters that are around those, um, the court when you play a game. So that's the in and out of it. Um, I really don't have much else to say about it. Um, that's how you import your um, custom backboards if you downloaded my pack. Uh, that's how you load the court to begin with. And of course, when you're done playing the game, go over, you can just go ahead and delete or save the S005. And then you go to S005, copy two, I believe was my original backup. Ta-da, and that's it. And then you're back to the normal base game. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. That was a lot of information, but hopefully you kept up with it. Um, but feel free to ask questions. I'll help the best I can. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.